Hey, Dr. Mike, my name is Marquise and I'm the owner of Nomadic Marketing. And in this video, I'm actually going to show you three things that you can do today to help bring in more customers to your business. Now, most likely, you know, you're just sitting there kind of asking yourself, why would I even be doing this in the first place? Or, or better yet, you know, what's in it for me? And honestly, both of those are very valid questions. Oftentimes in the world of the internet, most local business owners are, are just too busy running their business to learn how the internet can really benefit them and their company. And sometimes the only hesitation that they have to working with someone is they just don't know who's an expert and who isn't, or, or who's going to actually help them or, or like end up taking their money and run. I found by giving people a free attack plan of actual things that they can do to really impact their business, it's resulted in business owners just kind of like standing up and raising their hand and saying, hey, Marquise, can you just do this for me? So if by the end of this video, you feel like the information that I've given you today, um, maybe I can help your business with gaining new customers, feel free to reach out to me, shoot me a message or something, and we can chat. Or you can actually take any of this stuff that I'm giving you today and you can kind of use it on your own, and that's okay too. So now let me show you three things that will set your company above your competition and not waste any more of your time. So the three things that we're going to go over today are going to be content, uh, citations, and backlinks. So the first thing is content. So think of content as any of the words, phrases, um, pictures that are located on your page. So any of this stuff, all of this stuff is content. All of this stuff is content as well. So in order to be fully optimized in Google's eyes, you need to have at least 1,500 words on your front page. So what I did was I took your website and threw it into one of the tools that we utilize here. This is SEO Quake. So this is a free tool. Anybody can download it. Um, it comes out as a Chrome extension. So you can download it right onto the browser that you're using. Um, so this will show you a lot of very useful information, but one of the most useful things is actually seeing the amount of words in your website. So I was able to see that the total amount of words on your home page is 521. So you're about a thousand away from the 1500 fully optimized score that would lead you to having a really good rank uh, in Google. But it's not something that is uh, so out there that you wouldn't be able to reach it. It's actually uh, pretty attainable. Uh, when you compare it to someone like your one of your competitors, this is Mindful Springs, they have about total 945 words. So as you can see, they're only 400 above you, uh, which means that even something, someone like them, you can beat them. They're not even fully optimized. So this is definitely someone that you can overtake in the market. Next thing that I want to go over is citations. So for citations, what I did was I just threw in a search term. So this is couples therapy, Colorado Springs. Whenever you throw in any kind of like keyword search terms, there are a couple of things that come up. One is a set of ads. So these are the ads that are run on the Google Ads Network. So I think this is Google Search Network actually. Um, so basically how this works is you pay per click. So um, a business only pays when a customer actually clicks on the ad. So for some businesses, especially when their ads are done correctly, um, this can actually be very lucrative for them. But for others, this can uh, honestly end up being something that's very expensive for a lot of businesses and ends up with just kind of like a headache and no customers. The section that I do want to show you, which I feel would be even more important to your business, is the Google Map Pack, or Maps for short. So this is an area where you can find the name, address, and phone number for a business. <clears throat> so I'll have uh, business owners kind of like approach me and say, hey, Marquise, how can you rank in this Google Map Pack? There are a couple things that you can do. Um, some just kind of optimizing your description that can always work. Um, uh, you can also optimize your pictures. Um, that's always a good way of doing things. Now, one of the best ways that you can actually do things is by creating citations. So citations are basically anywhere on the internet where you can find your name, address, and phone number exactly the same. So in order to look at this, I'm actually gonna pull up 
one of the other tools that we utilize here. This is whitespark.ca. Essentially, it's a citation finder. It'll find citations for a business across the internet. So I threw your uh, business right into Whitespark, and it looks like here you guys have about eight citations across the internet which is a good place to start. I've worked with companies that have had zero citations when they started, and now they have hundreds, uh, especially when you compare it to someone like your competitor here, Mindful Springs again. They have about 38 citations across the web. Uh, so one of the greatest things about utilizing something like WhiteSpark is I can actually click on the citations here in order to see what citations they have. And once I know what citations they have, I can actually put in for a business to have these same citations. What I tend to recommend for businesses is that they should have anywhere from 200 to 300 citations across the internet. Uh, this is great because it basically puts a business in a place in which their competitors can't touch them. Most competitors have anywhere from like 20, 30, maybe even 40 citations, especially if they're doing really well with, what, uh, with ranking. Uh, but only a select few will have anywhere from 200 to 300 because this takes time to do. The last thing that I want to go over is backlinks. So think of backlinks as how a website has authority on the web. So simply put, if you were to take site A and site A is pointing at site B, therefore site A is acting as a backlink for site B which gives site B more authority across the web. So if you think of Google, um, think of it as kind of like a popularity contest. The more sites that are pointing at you, the more popular you are in Google's eyes, which means the higher that you'll rank in different uh, search terms. So if we were to take a look at your website here, I threw it into another tool that we use. This is Ahrefs. So Ahrefs, I think costs probably around $100 a month. But this is another tool that anybody can utilize it. Uh, you can actually just uh, sign up for it yourself if you ever wanted to. So if you take a look here, you guys have about 107 backlinks across nine referring domains. That means that nine different websites have 107 backlinks um, for that are pointing back at you. This is actually pretty good. Uh, a lot of sites that come and they talk to me uh, about what they would like to do next. They have zero backlinks, and of course, zero referring domains. So this is actually not a really bad place to be. Um, you do have a little bit of a ways to go, and you should make sure to try to get more backlinks, especially when you still compare it to one of your competitors in the area. So they have about 160 backlinks across 61 referring domains, which is helping to lead to them having 196 keywords, which is leading to them having 790 people uh, coming to their website every month. Uh, this is a really good number, but still not something that's unbeatable. This is still something that is attainable, and most of the battle is actually just knowing what these numbers are. Also keep in mind that not just any backlink works, though. They do need to be relevant. So if I were to take a look at the referring domains, this will actually show me what domains they're uh, popping up for. So as I said before, think of relevance as something that actually pertains to what you do or what your business does. So if you take marriage.com for, for instance, this is actually very relevant to what you guys do uh, being counselors. Uh, whereas if you were to compare it to something like, I don't know, pizzahut.com that deals with pizza, it's not very relevant to uh, being a, a marriage or couples counselor. You know? So once again, we went over a couple things. So the first thing was just content. So that front page, you're going to want to have at least 1,500 words in order to be fully optimized in Google's eyes. Uh, the second is citations. So you're going to want to have anywhere from 200 to 300 of these just to kind of like beat your competition out by a landslide. And the third is backlinks. So you're just going to need more relevant sites uh, pointing at you guys just to show Google you are the authority. And if you were to implement these strategies today, you could be number one across Google as well. So I guess you're kind of wondering, you know, what now? Well, you can either go and use the information that I provided you on your own, and that's perfectly all right. Um, any of this stuff will work if you were to just do it. 
Or if you want the most effective route um, and you want to save yourself some time, you can actually give me a call at 970-829-1342. Once again, my name is Marquise Mitchell. I'm with Nomadic Marketing. And best number to contact me is 970-829-1342. I look forward to hearing from you. Have a good one.